Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. We've got big, big information that has come in as of the last couple of hours, and that is Chelsea have finally announced a sign-in, although we kind of knew this was going to happen. Um, this was going to be, uh, I think, a, a given from since when Thomas Tuchel was around. And that is the latest on Christopher Nkunku. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into the latest news on this whole Chelsea-Saudi thing because there's a few contradictions that are going on out there, especially, especially from the Gooners, right? There are some Gooners that have seen it exactly for what it is. Go and check out Lee Gunner's video on his second channel, for example. You'll hear exactly what I think is common sense, which is logical. Check that out. I'll give him a plug. Lee reacts. And, um... We've got other news in relation to a couple of transfers, a couple of players possibly coming to Chelsea. One heading out that definitely wants to go. And at the end, Declan Rice news, as well as uh, another one as well. So we'll get into that. Let's start off with Christopher Nkunku. Christopher Nkunku has been officially announced with the blue balloon out, as, out of his mouth. I don't know how he's going to do that because his celebration is a balloon, right? And his, uh, the balloon is, 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 a, is a gesture for his boy, apparently, his son, because his son likes balloons. Uh, <laughs> normal balloons, by the way. So he always gets a balloon after he scores a goal and he's got a balloon. That's just because he wants to, you know, it's basically to his son. And now he's got to get blue balloons. I don't know if the Premier League are going to allow that. I, 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 I honestly... This is how crazy it is in this country. I don't think they're going to allow it. I don't think they're going to allow it because that can then be misconstrued as something else. It can look like something else. Then all of a sudden you see, you know, stories about players and balloons and all of that. Uh, you know, it, I can see where this is going already. So I reckon Nkunku's going to have to come up with a new celebration. But here's the latest from Chelsea Football Club announcing Christopher Nkunku. Nkunku is a blue. And there it is. Um, the little video package um, from him at PSG, Leipzig, and then being announced at Chelsea. So um, very, very nice to see Nkunku being announced finally. And this has only come because the international break is now over and um, his games at Chelsea are done. So it seems like... Well, his, his games at France are done. Sorry, not Chelsea. They haven't even started yet. But what's crazy with Nkunku is we have to really go in chronological order of how this whole saga happened. We were linked when we had Thomas Tuchel. And then, after that, we had the whole issue of the medical. Has the medical been done? And that was when Thomas Tuchel was in charge. We had the medical done. And then we had the pre-agreement signed. Basically, it's all down on paper. Don't worry, the deal will be done. When the time comes. That was with Graham Potter, if we remember. And now he has to play for Maurizio Pochettino. Unbelievable how things work at Chelsea Football Club. But Nkunku has now come in. And this is going to steer the way, I think, for Kai Havertz to depart the club. Which is going to be done, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we'll see how far that goes. But Nkunku coming in, I think it's very, very obvious as to where he's going to play. At worst, probably as a second striker. Say if we do actually end up getting Lautaro Martinez, right? Because we know Potts wants Martinez. If that were to happen, I think you could find a situation where they both play off each other. And Kunku may be a little deeper, maybe advances a little bit for Martinez to have someone to lean on. That could be the dynamic that Potts may be looking for. Um, and we'll see what happens there. But um, at best, I think he'll play in his attacking midfield role, um, you know, just on the edge of the D. And... We'll see what Nkunku can do and hopefully he brings us enough action, enough assists. And I'm not asking for tons of goals, but some goals need to be scored. From that position, some goals need to be scored. So I'm hoping it's going to be a very good acquisition for Chelsea Football Club. Nkunku, welcome to Chelsea, my friend. Welcome to Chelsea. Um, hopefully it's going to be a fantastic, uh, I, want to say, I want to say marriage, <laughs> a fantastic um, experience for Nkunku at Chelsea and hopefully good things happen. So that's the latest. Let me know your thoughts on Nkunku down below, how you see him fitting in, how you reckon Pochettino will use him. Let's shift over to this whole Saudi thing with Chelsea Football Club because uh, some teams are triggered. It's not just fans, it's teams as well. Here's the latest from the Telegraph that popped out last night after I'd given you guys my second video of the day. Here it is. This was last night. European rivals of Chelsea and Wolves are calling for fair market investigations into Saudi Arabia's dramatic haul of big money signings. One top club says teams are using the Saudi Pro League as a get out of FFP gel free card. 
Honestly, unbelievable. By the way, European rivals of Wolves? Who? Come on. It says European rivals of Chelsea and Wolves. This has Arsenal written all over it, I'm going to say. Yeah, I, honestly, I, don't, I don't think Man United are moaning because they're about to be taken by Qatar. Liverpool, mm, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, but there's been nothing from Liverpool's end for me to see and say that it's Liverpool. But there have been a substantial amount of gooners complaining, right? Tons. So I, I think it could be Arsenal. This one top club, I think it'll be Arsenal, right? Um, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Us letting players go off to Saudi, right? For the Arsenal fans complaining, let's get one thing straight, right? You're buying Kai Havertz. How much are you buying him for? 60 million, right? You're basically giving us our money back. So what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? On one hand, they're complaining, hey, they're getting rid of all those players and they're getting their money back. On the other hand, we're going to give you basically nearly all your money back, give us Kai Havertz. That's the biggest contradiction going. Don't do business with us. <laughs> don't. But then again, there's club and there's supporters. The club probably don't see it in the same way that the fans do. But I can understand maybe the reaction of the fans has maybe triggered the club to say something and try and get something done. Nothing will be done. Because there's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong. And you want to take it one step further? Let's take it one step further. I saw something and I was like, no way. Absolutely no way. Who is an official partner of the Premier League? I will show you. Who is it? Here it is. So, official partner, we have EA. EA Sports, right? As CFC Daily has said here, Orcs, it is. Who has a stake in EA Sports? Oh, would you look at that? It's the PIF. <laughs> The PIF, and um, I can't get it all on screen for you, but you can check out. It says the Kingdom's Public Investment Fund reportedly increased its stake in EA by 55%. So if you play FIFA now, you're contributing to the PIF, right? If you watch Premier League football, if you're in the Premier League, you're contributing to the PIF. What are you saying about that now? Are we going to stop everything from, from the Saudis, no? Arsenal are on the brink of possibly spending two to three hundred million this this transfer window so far. So far. If this Declan Rice deal goes through, so far. Because that's gonna be a hundred. Add uh Kai Havertz for another sixty or sixty-five. Add Timber, who we're gonna discuss for another thirty, two hundred million there, easy. Two hundred million spent. Just like that, right? Are we gonna are we gonna punish Arsenal for that? Arsenal, Ars that's cheating. You can't do that, Arsenal. You can't do that. That's too much. You can't do that. It doesn't make any sense. It makes absolutely no sense. So, uh, yeah. For the ones complaining, look. Clear Lake and PIF have a relationship. Much like the PIF have investments, right? No, sorry. Clear Lake. Clear Lake have investors. Up to 400 different investments in there in, in, as part of Clear Lake Capital and the assets that they manage. 400 companies that they help manage assets for. And we've just singled out one PIF link because they're Saudi. And those are going to be uh, the clubs that, well, owned by, they're the owners of the clubs that want these players. And we're going to complain. Absolutely ridiculous. When it's Chelsea, people complain. When it's not Chelsea, no, no one bats an eye. I don't see anyone saying anything when the whole Ronaldo to, 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 to Saudi thing kicked off, did they? No one, no one batted an eye. No one's really saying much against Wolves for Ruben Neves. No one's batting an eye. No one's batting an eye at possible players, even from Manchester City, that could be going to Qatar like Mares. No, no one bats an eye. All these different deals that are going to Saudi, no, nah, no one's got a problem. Chelsea, no, nah, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop It's cheating, it's cheating. You know what? I love it, I love it. Why? Because I haven't seen this much hate for Chelsea since we were at our peak under Roman Abramovich. I love it when it's like this. It means we're doing something right. And if we're doing something right, let the haters hate. Let the haters hate. So there we are. Now, talking about a hater. <laughs> His latest from Lukaku. Unbelievable. Um, this is coming from Corre della Sport in Italy. Big article coming out in Italy from Corre della Sport about Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku is unhappy with Chelsea's attitude as they tried to push him to Al Hilal. And he is planning to go to London after the Estonia game, probably with his lawyer. What for? 
What for? Because you want to stay at Inter Milan and they want a loan deal and we're saying no. What is it with people trying to get their... Trying to get us to do things the way that they want to do it. Like, l leave us alone. Let us do what we're doing. <laughs> Let us do what we're doing. We are not going to have a loan deal with Inter Milan. Inter Milan, if they want you bad enough, Romelu, they will buy you. Simple. Go to Inter and talk to them and tell them, buy me. Not a problem. We'll entertain that, I'm sure. Because we are not exactly looking to keep Romelu Lukaku at the club now, are we? So whoever's interested, put your money on the table. I don't see what the problem is. Honestly, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, let him come with his lawyer. Let him come with the king if he wants, um, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> business is business. Um, now, one player that could be coming to Chelsea, none other than Gabri Vega. Gabri Vega is ready for the next step. He will leave Celta Vigo. His management is considering many options. There is contact and talks with Chelsea. That is from Florian Plettenberg of Sky Sports in Germany. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens there. I, I honestly think that deal could, not could, I think it will happen. I don't think it'll be a big fee. And I think for that reason, it'll happen. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens there. Um, let me know your thoughts on, on Gabriel Vega because I'm seeing a 50-50 split in the fan base. Some people are like, nah, he's not good enough. Some people are like, no, a smart bit of business. So let me know where you stand. Let me know where you stand and then we can take it from there. Now, um, talking about Arsenal. Yeah, let's go and see the business that Arsenal are doing now. They've got money, ain't they? Arsenal have money, so much money that they're paying us money to take Kai Havertz and they're giving us exactly what we want. But apparently we're the ones doing things wrong. <laughs> Here's the latest on Declan Rice. West Ham are expected to reject a second proposal from Arsenal for Declan Rice. £19 million total fee, £75 million plus £15 million add-ons. West Ham believe £15 million add-ons are also difficult to achieve. Hammers still expect Man City to enter the race this week. Arsenal remain confident. Arsenal are looking for... No, not Arsenal, sorry, West Ham. West Ham are looking for a bidding war. They are so looking for a bidding war. But I have to pinpoint that line of West Ham believe £15 million add-ons are also difficult to achieve. Let me get this right. I think I know exactly what Arsenal are trying to do here. Arsenal are trying to put an add-on. I'm sure that if we win the Premier League or we win the Champions League, you'll get, you'll get a piece of the pie for giving us Declan Rice, which is completely unrealistic, especially the Champions League. The Premier League, I think, might happen eventually. Eventually. I don't think anytime soon. Um, because Man City are too strong, other teams are going to start splashing their cash properly, and Arsenal are going to find it more difficult than they found it this past season, I think. So I, I honestly think Arsenal have missed their chance to win the Premier League, but I do think they can come close. But they won't win it. The Champions League, forget it. So if they're trying to put that in as a clause, knowing it's not going to happen, you think West Ham are going to accept that? <laughs> West Ham won the European trophy this season, <laughs> you know, albeit it's the Conference League and I know you can only win what you're in. So can't blame Arsenal for that one. But um, yeah, no, there's, no, there's no way. They're going to have to up it. I do. I, this deal has always been 100 million minimum. West Ham will not take less than 100. Hence why Chelsea, we, we, we wanted Declan Rice at one point. West Ham were being adamant. It was 120 at one point. They won't go, they won't go lower than that. They won't go lower than 100. So yeah. Business is business. Arsenal will have to try and come to an arrangement. I do think it will happen. I think the ninety-five hundred million pound mark will be hit, and um, Rice will become an Arsenal player. Um, but here's more: Arsenal going for a defender, thirty million. Exclusive. Arsenal working on deal to sign Ajax defender Julian Timber. Arsenal have made an opening offer worth £30 million. Ajax want £50 million, or around there, but optimism a compromise will be reached. Personal terms with the Netherlands international thought to be in place. Okay, fair play. Fair play. £30 million for a decent defender, absolutely, from Ajax. Um, I think Timber is the sort of bracket or profile of player that Arsenal do end up doing well with. You know, they don't... Arsenal aren't the team to go for complete superstars. But um, in this case, Declan Rice is the high-profile one. Maybe some would say Kai Havertz as well. But Timber is a sort of player like, like a Saliba, where no one really expected, and then eventually just started blossoming and boom, exploded and became what he is now. So I think this is another one. It's a good piece of business as far as I'm concerned. But Arsenal not exactly broke, are they? So, uh, and look, here's the thing. Arsenal, if you want to do business with the Saudis, just knock on their door. What's stopping you? <laughs> you know, what is stopping you? You can sell your players if you want. You know, they're taking everything they can get right now. The Saudis are going for players like Matt Doherty. You're saying you don't stand a chance. Stop complaining and do get, get things done. Get some action in. Simple as that. So, uh, yeah, 
that's the latest. Overall, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below on everything that I've discussed today. And second video of the day will be coming out later on. There's, there's the whole Kai Havertz thing, which apparently is in progress and things could be coming to an agreement. That could be news later on, so keep your eyes peeled for the second video and we'll see if it is going to be a part of it or if anything is broken, I will be sure to let you guys know here. So thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this and I'll see you later. Have a good one, people. In a bit. Take care and peace.